Hello, summer artists. I wanted to show you some of the projects we've been working on in our Miss Julia's Art Studio summer camp. There is a company called Artime that I have done my uh, school art show with, the framed art show, for many years. And they give their uh, leftover pieces of the plastic plexiglass from their, that they can't use anymore because it's scratched up a bit. And they gave me a huge stack. And of course, I looked on Pinterest to see some ideas that I could use them for. And they, this has already been cut. It, it has been a pain in the butt to cut all the pieces. But um, we decided to do these stained glass artworks, or faux stained glass. And so this is one of them here. We tried a couple of different kind of markers, regular markers. They look good at first, and then you come back later, and they've beat it up, and the colors fade, and it doesn't work so well. So um, we tried also the gel effects. You've probably seen gel effects markers. They look like this with the black case. Those work pretty well. Those seem to have the best effect so far. Also, the um, bistro chalk markers that are used like at Starbucks when they write their thing for the day. A lot of different uh, restaurants and cafes use them. Those work well and they kind of have a chalky look when they dry. But I wanted to show you because these students have done such a nice job with these um, stained glass artworks. Another thing I'm excited about that we're doing, I bought a bunch of small pizza boxes. This is the nine inch and what I like about these, they're thicker than a canvas than the, um, unless you want to buy the really expensive museum campuses but I don't buy that for the um, for the kids summer art camp so there was this example on Pinterest um, about using these as a canvas and it, they, they were the coolest abstract paintings so we are going to um, use these as a canvas I taped up the holes we just I just sewed them I got them ready for camp and um, we started with our first color on the background and we're doing geometric shapes. And as those come along, I will show you those later. But um, this was um, an example on Pinterest uh, for that. I don't know if you can see it from there, but anyway, this is our inspiration and we limited our colors and we've got our background already done and we're gonna work on adding some more color layers uh, tomorrow. And we also have our clay projects finishing tonight cooling off and we'll be painting those tomorrow which are some of the uh, slab uh, clay Mexican sun faces so I'll show you those later on but I'm very excited about this new thing that we tried on the plexiglass and also you can use the scraps I found another project that talked about using the uh, clear um, plexiglass cut it into strips and I put they got to choose their color of embroidery thread I punched a hole in it with a hole punch and they colored on them I don't have one finished because they took theirs home with their them today but you can make bookmarks with them and that's pretty cool whether or not the gel effects markers will smear on their book pages I don't know yet but uh, they sure had fun making them probably the bistro chalk marker would be better for the bookmarks but anyway we're experimenting and discovering and having lots of creative fun. So I will uh, post some other pictures of artwork online for you to see and I hope you keep following us. Have a great summer.